Alexa, play my Master Chef playlist. Mm. Introducing, introducing, introducing. Sonos. And today I'm back with another unboxing and today is going to be the new Sonos One speaker. Well I say new, it's been out a little bit of time now. So if you're a returning viewer, you'll probably be wondering what the hell has happened to your beard Rob. Well I shaved it all off for charity and uh, just been keeping the moustache for a month but it's looking pretty ungroomed right now. So first things first, let's sort that out. So hopefully that's looking a little bit better. It's not the best because I've lost my proper moustache wax, which is a little bit annoying, but that's not what we're here for. So let's get into the unboxing. Where is it? Let's look at all the sides. So that's a look around the box. Um, but again, you're not really here to look at the outside of the box. You want to know what's inside, don't you? The first thing we need is the trusty knife, and I've got a new one. It's a beauty. Here it is, the new one. Oh! Fresh and uh, cut that little bad boy of a seam so we can get our fresh knife. Just go along there, down that bit, down that bit. Beautiful, put that away. The uh, the seal cut along here, and uh, my hands are pretty hot and sweaty right now, so we're gonna leave leaving fingerprints everywhere. So let's peel this back bit off, and uh, I've made a right mess of that already, as always. But we don't care about the packaging because we don't need that going in the bin. On the top here, we can uh, open up the flaps and uh, we're firstly presented by the sort of how-to guides, etc. And an interesting thing I found out about the uh, Sonos logo is it's the same no matter what way you look at it. So we'll take this bit off for now and we'll set the rest to the side. So like I was saying, the Sonos logo is the same that way and that way. Great work by the designers. So that bit we need no longer. In here we just have a bit of paperwork. So we have like the uh, how to get the Sonos app and we have all the which you don't really need to know. So before we get to the actual speaker itself, a few little things about it before we start unwrapping that, which is the bit I know you want to get to. So get into the sound first. I've been in a few shops and a couple of my friends own the Sonos speakers. This one's my first personal one and it's not an advert, it's not endorsed, I bought this myself. The first thing in which I noticed is the incredible bass from such a small speaker. This speaker is housed of a tweeter and a mid-woofer. Mid-woofer meaning it gives you good mid-range whilst also acting as a sub-woofer. It's driven by two D-class amplifiers, one for the tweeter and one for the sort of mid-woofer, if that's what we're going to call it from now on. When listening to the Sonos at low volumes, you can really hear the bass. It really rumbles at them deep frequencies. When I first heard that, I thought, oh, it sounds like a boy races car where all you can hear is the bass, but... As on, that only happens at the lower volumes, you get more of a resonant bass coming from that. As you increase the volumes up to the higher levels, then you're going to get more of a punchy bass and all round the tweeters are amazing also, nice and sharp. So you heard me touch on the speaker using the D-Class amplifiers. For most people that won't mean nothing, unless you're a bit of an audio freak. Well, there's two main benefits of the D-Class amplifier in my opinion. One of those being that it takes up less space in the motherboard, therefore then being able to engineer more stuff into the small compact box that it already is. And the the second advantage being that it gives off less heat, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get the speaker. So straight inside the box you can see the speaker has been nicely wrapped. Oh geez, there's a bit of weight to that. So there is some more things in the box but we shall get to them in a second. Uh, so this is the speaker, it's wrapped in this sort of cloth I suppose and uh, it's sealed with the Sonos sticker on top. Let's just get the other things out and then we'll get to the main beauty. So in the bottom of the box, I'm just gonna pull this out. Just like one of them crates you get your McDonald's drinks in. And straight in the bottom, we have two cables, I believe. First of all, we have the power cable and that plugs straight into the bottom of the device. And second of all, we have an ethernet cable, which I don't believe you have to have up to set up this device. You can do it straight over the Wi-Fi. So for now, we don't need that. And that's it in the box. So uh, we don't even need that anymore. So going back to the speaker, like I said, when pulling out of the box, there is a hefty bit of weight to this. It weighs 4.08 pounds, which translates into roughly 1.85 kilograms. Here we go. 
Let me uh, put this near the mic so you can hear it. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good, good amount of stickiness on the sticker. So uh, here we go. I don't really want to put my hands all over top. Like I say they're clammy, so I'm just going to peel it back like that. And here we are presented, well I even got it the right way around. Here we are presented with the speaker. At the top we have one single tweeter and this is what I was on about here being the mid-woofer. On the top we have the captive touch buttons. We have the button here which has a sign of a microphone which is to switch off the microphones for Alexa so that it doesn't accidentally pick up your voice if you, you tend to say Alexa or anything like that. In the centre we have the play and pause button and on the outsides I haven't even looked at it yet, uh, so I guess they might be volume. Finally, the last thing on top is an LED. As we move around to the back, we have an Ethernet port connector and a sync button. On previous models, such as the Play one, I know they used to be a mountain screw. Like Apple, Sonos like you to use all their ecosystem. So before you used to have a screw mount where you could put any sort of speaker wall mount onto it, whereas Sonos now offer their own sort of clamp, speaker mount which is $54.99 from their website so for those of you who think you can't mount them on the wall you still can and finally on the bottom you have your mains power adapter I live in the UK so I use the three pin for the other end and this end I believe is the same whether you're in the US or anywhere else in the world another big difference from the one to the play one is the one in houses a full one color unit uh, so you don't tend to have like a different color band or a different color mesh it's all black and the same with the white it's all completely white in my opinion it's a solid design as i've been looking into these there's also i'd say like an add-on app possibly or a feature which is called true play like i say this is my first device so i'm not 100 percent sure but from what i've read you place your speaker into a room and it uses the microphones to set up the best sound that you can possibly get from the sound bouncing off the walls and i believe you have to use your mobile phone and sort of wave it around the room other things to take into account is the sonos speaker now supports up to 62 different music services some of the top ones being apple music spotify amazon music google play music soundcloud deezer tune in tidal napster and a host of other different services another great feature which is different to the play one is that this one has the built-in alexa now alexa is becoming a massive thing so is so many other ai voice activated systems homes are now being fully run off this so you can activate lights through systems such as the philips hue you can activate uh, lamps to come on through active sockets you can use built-in active light switches fridges anything you could possibly think of is now becoming a reality i myself am going to invest in some wi-fi active plug sockets etc so then i'll be able to turn on and off devices in the home with this now finally would i recommend this to someone now i know i'm not going to set this up in this video but i will do a full setup video if you're a complete tech geek like myself then yes i'd say go ahead and get it because everyone likes to experience all the newest things that are out or if you're someone who wants a full multi-room sound system set up, then yeah, it's a great system. However, if you're a bit strapped for cash, then I would say no, because they are quite expensive. However, they're nowhere near the price of the Apple HomePod. If you're just the person who wants to listen to the odd song every now and then, or you're just someone who comes home from, I don't know, work, college, school, whatever, you just want to flick on the laptop and listen to a few tunes from YouTube, then this is probably not for you. But all in all, my first thought straight out of the box are it's a great design, it looks very sleek, and I believe that it would just blend into almost any room that you could think of. It's small and the sound that I've heard that comes from them is amazing. I definitely recommend you to buy one if you had sort of a small business where you're playing music all day or if you had a bar where you wanted a little bit of background music in multiple rooms and this would be absolutely amazing. So today I'm going to wrap the video up. If you did like this unboxing then please leave me a like or a comment and if you didn't like it then by all means dislike it but leave me a comment down below give me some constructive feedback on what I can improve. Like I say a full review and set up video of this will be coming very soon. Thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe. Mm-hmm.